What up, world? This is Monty Flipsai. You're now tuned to another episode of On The Beat. We're here at the Boom Room, legendary Boom Room recording studio in Philadelphia. The Roots crew has worked here. Everyone's worked here. But more importantly, we got my fam, Ren Thomas here. How, what's going on, brother? How you feeling? Hey, yo, it's the Bird God, the Ginger Lord, Ren Thomas. You're watching On The Beat. Yes, sir. Without, yes, without. sir. So it comes down to you saying you've been nice. I have. You've been nice since the womb, since yeah. you was a little kid. So 100%. So tell me a little bit about you growing up, where you came from. Uh, so I was born and raised, and I still currently live in Clark, New Jersey, okay. which is uh, North Jersey. It's a suburb of New York City. I'm about like an hour and a half from Philly, 15 minutes from New York City. All right. So, uh, you know... Pretty cool, really. Like, I you know, it. it was interesting. I was actually having this conversation. We put a show on with Smith & Wesson last month, a few months ago. And one of the questions I asked the crowd, who are your top five MCs from New Jersey? Okay. All right. So, obviously, myself. Screw tape. <laughs> outside of yourself. Oh, outside <laughs> of myself? <laughs> yeah. My, so Dylon. Right. So Dylon. then, uh, I guess, like, you know. There's this guy named Screw Tape. He's all right. Okay, okay. Um, Screw is. Shout out to Screw. Screw is <laughs> yeah, He's mad real. overrated. No, 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 no. He's he's an animal. That's my brother. Uh, Tab, Ghetto MC. Okay. Um, you know, obviously Red Man. Uh, and then it's like a toss up between like Pace One, ah, Lauren Hill. Okay, I gotta yeah, put Lauren Hill yeah, in there yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, but Pace One, Young Z, uh, the Artifacts. There's there's a lot of really really dope spitters out of Jersey. So, so, uh, yeah, tell, talk about a little bit of your accolades. You've done a lot of things, bro. Yeah, You've done a lot uh, of, like, awards, accolades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shit. 2012 Magnum, Live Long, uh, Ludacris, MC Champion, uh, EO Dub, United Which States. Which was, was in the UK? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I won the United States. It's uh, off the top, writing. It's the MC Challenge. So it's, like, all your skills. So you have to be nice at everything. So I won the U.S., went over and represented the U.S. in London, came in third in the world. Wow. And uh, Team Backpack, obviously, uh, just did Sway, and then he brought me back as one of the top ten of the year, um, which was incredible. And, you know, just grinding, just working on the craft, trying to be the best MC ever. Cool. So I, there's a clip of, online of you with Sway in the morning. How yeah. was that experience? How was that? Awesome. Meeting? Sway is... Sway is like officially yeah. our hip hop guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I grew up watching him on MTV, right? Like, interviewing, you know, and, 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 stuff like that. and uh, he's one of the most humble, amazing. Like he don't need to talk to you any kind of way. He can talk however he wants. You know what I'm saying? But he's so genuine and really like, he's amazing. Shout out to Heather B too. Yo, you know, I'd be more excited to meet Heather B. To be yo, honest. Like, yo, yo, being Heather from B. Jersey, being from Jersey, and meeting Heather B, I was like, yo. I want to ask you this, uh, and I want to say this in a delicate way, because I don't want to put the answer in the question. Okay. But do you still think there is this white rapper uh, complex or thing? Yeah. Okay. For sure. How do you how do you uh, confront that, or how do you? Um... Well, I'm not, I'm not white. I'm a ginger. Okay. All right. All right. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I, just, I have no soul. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, there's they still did say there's... that about gingers. That's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a soul. It's fine. People look at you differently, I guess. Um, being from where I'm from and the way that I look, you know, when uh, I would go to like North New Jersey, which is like, you know, not an easy place to, to, to rap in front of anybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, would go out there and they would be like, Psh, look at this guy. But that was always my favorite part was that they never expected what was gonna come out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when the bars started coming out and they were like, Psh. no, that was, that, that, those are the moments that I still live for. Mm. It's like, People looking at me a certain way because of the, you know, the way that I look or, or you know, where I'm from or any, any, anything like that. And when they look at me, and as soon as they're like captivated by the message and the words, and I'm like, yup, that, that's a win. You know what I mean? That's, that's awesome. So why should people care about Ren Thomas? Because I care about everyone. Because you care about everyone. <laughs> uh, Nah, <laughs> bars. Uh, nah, I mean, you know, if you like good hip hop, if you st if you're still interested in hip hop being pure and being real to the culture and actually caring, and, you know, uh, I think I make great music. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's up to that's up to the people. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, 
you know, buy my shit because of this reason. Right. Listen to it. Give it a chance. Mm. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. But not many people, I don't really meet many people who aren't like, nobody's ever going to tell me I can't rap. Okay. Because I'm one of the 1% that's still amazing. <laughs> well, and he's humble too. Very uh, humble. So we have a show coming up uh, May 26th at Underground Arts starring yes. Ari the Rugged Man, AFRO Afro, and we got Supreme the Resurrector and my man Ren Thomas, man. How you feel about sharing stage with uh, Ari the Rugged Man? Amazing. Uh, shout out to him and Afro and Supreme. Uh, I've had the pleasure of uh, rocking a couple of stages with R.A. and Afro. Great dudes. Hey, yo, it's the most handsome ginger in the world, Ren Thomas. Remember to always stay true, always stay tuned, and always stay on the beat.